Hello and welcome back to the Planet Crafter. It's been about four months since the last time we played, and there's been an update. Uh, the last update was a volcanic update, I think, and there was an update actually in the middle that we missed because it was relatively small, but when I went back and looked at it uh, in preparation for this, I realized that there was indeed uh, something that we wanted to do from that update. So the first thing we need to do is grab a couple of BP chips because there's a couple of new things, one from that update, one from this one that we need to unlock. Uh, the first one here is Blueprint Pinning Tier 2 Microchip. That is the new thing from the previous update. And then one from this update called a Flare. So we're going to take a look at what those will do. Uh, there's just those two. There's also quite a bit of other new stuff in this game that we can get from the procedural updates, the procedural wrecks that this update is themed after. So we're going to take a look uh, and try to find some of those. Um, and well, to get those, we need to uh, make and get a um, a a new building, uh, which is called the Portal Generator. That's here. So we're going to gather the items up to make that. But we also want to gather that blueprint pinning stuff up, and then we can kind of look through and uh, grab the things we want to do here. So uh, the blueprints should be here, uh, or rather the chips. So aluminum, osmium, super alloy, two cobalt, and a magnesium. Oh, we get it incoming. Uh, let's see, aluminum, osmium, aluminum, osmium, magnesium, two cobalts, osmium, magnesium, two cobalts, and a something that I just forgot what the last thing was. Dang it. That pinning will be really nice. Uh, super alloy. There we are. Proving my own point here. Uh, super alloy. What's the incoming? Is it nothing? yellow sky. Uh, yellow sky for a minute meant that you could have the rocket or the meteor incoming, the asteroid, no meteor, incoming that would give chests, but that no longer exists. That was removed in favor of adding in a new, the, the new procedural racks where you get those randomly generated things, but you have a little bit more control over kind of where and when. Uh, this, this chip, that's what we need to make is the chip. Uh, so let's make that. And then we can equip that chip. And then we can take a look at chip 2, which we can find in here. And we can right-click on it to pin it. And that'll give us the items we need, including the, the Mark 1 chip. So we need uh, methane, which I think I have down here somewhere. Uh, over here. There it is. Methane. Uh, osmium, zeolite, magnesium, and cobalt. I like how that's uh, pinned there across the top, and the little icons light up automatically as part of that, uh, um, as part of collecting the correct items for the recipe. Really nice. Good job, guys. That, and then that automatically grabbed the blueprint chip, the tier one chip, from our inventory or from our equipped gear. Uh, made the item and put it back in there, which was also a new feature in that uh, intermediary update there. That update came just before they announced uh, the multiplayer that's coming after 1.0, uh, which I'm looking forward to because I think I have a couple of friends who might be interested in playing it with me, uh, which would be kind of great. Uh, two fusion energy cells, uh, two energy multiplier fuses. Ooh. That we need to go purchase. Uh, we think we can only get those from either finding them in, um, or we could actually potentially go steal them from the um, from the from power wasteland nuclear. There we are, because I think we have them out here, right? We might have them out here. Let's go see if we have a couple we can steal from here, because we set these thingies up. Yeah, these thingies here, the machine optimizers. And we do have a few fuses in here, so we could grab maybe one from each of these, and then we could buy some more uh, in, the, in the intermediary time. That way we don't have to wait for the rocket to go and come back again uh, to, in order to get these. But we could go to rocket launch, though, and we could grab uh, two of those from the rocket here. Uh, those are energy multiplier fuses there. And then... Um, how full are you? Eh, full enough. Go ahead and launch it. That way they'll come back. Two of those, yes, please. Let's go. And then when that comes back, we will um, we'll have the two we can go put back out in uh, in power. Uh, let's go back here to Wally Town. 
And I forgot to pin that recipe, because I am an idiot. Let's pin that recipe. That's uh, this one. And let's also pin... Um, no. Let's also pin this one. How many recipes can we pin with this chip, by the way? Pin more. It doesn't say how many. Okay. Because we also need a uh, microchip compass. We can pin all three of those, and we can see everything we need to gather. So we need two th for these. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, we need osmium. One, two for one. And then two more. Obsidian. I think I have up front still. I don't know if I put it in another box someplace else. But I think that's up here. Somewhere in this mess. There's still some mess in here too. Some rods. If I need rods for any of this stuff, I do. We can grab that. No, no. Yes. Two of those. There's more here. Oh, production multiplier fuses here too. Okay, remember that, Wally. Uh, we need two of those rods. Two chips. Uh, two circuit boards, that is. And then a bunch of random ores. Which we can go and get. As well. Mm. Aluminum. I see two of those. Uh, magnesium. I see one of those. Silicon's over here. Uh, two circuit boards. Which are here. Is that everything? That might be everything. Uh, that uh, compass chip first. Except that I also need to right click to clear it from there. And then uh, two of these, which I will right click first and then, oops, forgot to control click. And then we need the one thing that we can build, which we will go and find a place to build. Okay, can I like attach it to the outside of the building here? Or maybe put it out by the rocket? It's pretty big. Not unless I change the way I've got my building structured. Maybe put it out here by the rockets. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm still getting over this cold, for those of you who have been watching my channel with the other games lately. Um, but it's getting better, so hopefully we will be in a good place. Let's put it right out here. Or maybe like that. Can you, can you snap still? Yes, you will. Let's do it like that. I like that. Alright, this... Stargate. Alrighty. So, but before we do this, because I think we need crystals for this or something... Uh, materials required. Okay, and I, I know I read in the patch notes that it needs crystals, which, by the way, in these procedural wrecks, we will find some new blueprints, uh, some new frogs, some new trees, um, a new fuse. Uh, we can also buy a new blueprint of a, a fountain from these guys. So we should take a look at that fountain. Oh, there it is right there. 20,000. Yeah, that's going to be a minute. We never did the hologram projector either, because these things are expensive, and I haven't been shipping that many things. Oh, what else was new? Uh, procedure X, procedure, a new golden effigy, of course. Um, there's col different color quartz uh, required to open the rare portal, so maybe we just have to have them in our inventory, and then just click the button to scan, maybe? Oh, I see. Here we are. So we need to have... Okay, but what about one that we can just use just the regular Pulsar Quartzes for? Uh, Balzar Quartz and Quasar Quartz. Can we scan for more that just take Pulsar Quartz? Interesting. Yep, there's a couple here. Okay, so so we need a few pulsar quartzes. It looks like. Will that stay up there? No. Jerk. Okay. Well, maybe it will. Maybe the same ones will stay up there. Uh, so let's go pick up some pulsar quartzes then. Oh, another new thing. There is an opening here now, in the wall between this uh, starting crater, uh, generally considered the starting crater, and the waterfall area that opens up at a certain um, uh, terraformation level. Uh, oh, hydration low. That we can fix. Which, I'm, so I'm assuming it's it's blocked with ice to begin with. Um, like many of the caves and things are. So that will be a little bit different. 
But we can fly through here now if we don't have teleporters yet. And appear here in the uh, in the waterfall area just next to the cave to the mushrooms, which I have marked with the mushroom trees, which is kind of handy. Um, instead of having to uh, fly all the way around or through the Aspium Cave or through the um, through the through the uh, uh, Zeolite Cave, uh, we can just fly through here. Uh, but we have teleporters everywhere now, so that is not that useful. Let's go back here. Uh, what else are we missing from the update that we haven't talked about yet? Uh, let's see. Uh, the way that creatures spawn in the world it depends a little bit on, like, uh, in terms of the ones you can just see, not necessarily like the larvae on the ground. It depends on how you have the farms placed, the butterfly, the fish, and the frog farms, which kind of is interesting. Um, I, I'll have to take, kind of keep an eye on that, which I don't. And then they've added a couple of performance changes, things like that. Uh, there's a new, there's new controller support. There's um, better collisions on the big rock elements, which hopefully that means that we won't have the issues we've had repeatedly where we can clip through things and things like that. Hopefully they fix that uh, idea out. Uh, let's just take three, actually. Uh, take three, and then we can go and call me in the morning. Uh, and then we can go uh, to the teleporter here, to the rocket launch area, and we can do this. Uh, the, the fuses are a little bit less effective than they were before. Um, I don't know if if it shows that I can see, not there I guess, but over here maybe. Can I see what uh, what they look like? How much they have? Only one and a half times this, which might have been 200% or 300% or something before, and I was only 150%. Uh, so these are a little bit, the effectiveness of the fuses has changed. How do I have a production multiplier fuse in here? Interesting. Was I trying to sell that? I must have been trying to buy it because it's disabled, so I will take it. Um, I'll let you do your thing when you get full again. This was the one we sent earlier? No, this was not. Okay, so it's the third one. Um, and then uh, teleporters now require obsidian to build, which is kind of useful, I guess, to use that a little bit more. Um, but the fuses you get from the procedural wrecks will be a little bit more effective, so we're going to want to have that. I'm going to just zip back here real quick and drop off this uh, production multiplier fuse, uh, wherever that was, over here. There we go. Just so I'm not carrying it with me, because I don't want to carry anything with me that I don't need. Although, I should probably carry with me some food. Uh, let's just eat one and then buy one. Um, just in case, and maybe some water, but I think we'll just uh, see what happens. And then we can, um, we can try to teleport. Let's try to teleport. Stargate. Uh, I can't remember if I mentioned or not, the asteroid, yeah I did when the, when the yellow came. Uh, the asteroid that drops the containers no longer, is no longer a thing. Instead we use these procedural wrecks to go to, or to get the randomly generated stuff like that concept. Uh, let's see. So that's kind of the summary of the update. Uh, difficulty, we're already one. Difficulty one, that's probably the best one to start with. I don't know what they mean by difficulty, per se. But uh, do we just, like, go up here and walk through? Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's beautiful. Take a quick picture of that portal. Uh, so we are, uh, well, we don't know where we're at on the map. We're somewhere on the map. Uh, if we close the portal, what happens? Does that mean we have to, like, does it take us back? How does that work? Um, I, mean, I don't know what difficulty means here, but uh, there's still larvae on the ground. Uh, there's some cool looking little flowers and stuff over here. We can fly, that's good. Is there crap underwater? This isn't, well, this is water, or, but it's not very deep water. Um, wow, this is. See a uh, chest here. Good. Terra tokens. A thousand and a five hundred. Good. All right. I'm almost certainly going to get lost here. 
Yeah, there's my portal. Yeah, we're still clipping a little bit here, but maybe it's better. So these aren't that big, which is good, because otherwise you would get lost, I think. But uh, they at least should have some loot, uh, chests and things in here. Um, I don't know if any of this other stuff is actually clickable or not. We should eventually, like I said before, find some frogs and uh, butterflies, I think is what I saw. Is that what I saw? Trees, not not um, tree seeds, not, not, not butterflies. Frogs and tree seeds we should be able to find around here someplace. In some of these, maybe not necessarily in this one, because this one's difficulty is a level one. And that might indicate more about you know what you like yeah you can clip up these things too which is probably not intended but I'm doing it anyway well, maybe it is intended Those are probably not able to be clipped up, but the rest of these, maybe. Ooh, yeah, there's a chest up here, so it was intended. A flare. That's one of the new things we got the blueprint for, which I didn't look actually look for. Are they in here? Yeah, no, that's the area lamp. Flares might be in the other, um, in one of the crafting stations. I didn't look for that. Oops. Nice being up here on top of the world a little bit. If you can see things, maybe you can find something. Maybe. Probably not. But the good thing is, I mean, for the cost, which is fairly low, of a few crystals, um, you can get yourself to some of these other places and uh, find some random stuff and kind of make the game a little bit more endless. Whereas the game before this was a bit more static. So it's kind of a good thing, I think. Um, that looks like someplace we should be able to kind of get to. Whether we could get this way another way or not. Ouch. Yeah, I fell. There's the portal again over there. Of course, you all know how I am uh, unobservant. So I could easily miss a chest here. Um... Ah, oh, there's one right there. Speak of the devil. Oh, there we are. Uh, we have another terror token, 100 only this time. These flares. So they're kind of, they're, it says they can do different colors too. So they're kind of like... Okay, so how do you do the... Oh, the, de the deconstructed it, deconstructed it. Interesting. Okay. Not what I was expecting, but okay. Hmm. Of course, I have no idea where I've been and where I haven't been. So that's kind of a thing, too. Uh, you. Ooh, got a Balzar Quartz. That's good. So I think it's just a matter of flying around, finding the things, the chests and things that are in these areas, hopefully finding enough of them to make it worth your while uh, for collecting all the items, and then establishing another portal and uh, going there. Now, one of the things I wonder is, is there any sort of tracking of which which I location IDs you've been to so you don't go back to the same one? Um, yeah, there's another chest over here. I'm getting full. Uh, but we got a Magnetar Quartz here, too, which is another one we didn't even see yet. Uh, so we can... I guess we can go back and forth through these portals, though. So let's just go back and forth through the portal. And hopefully remember how to get to that chest that I just left behind. Uh, portal was not there. Oh dear, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be bad. Now I can't find the freaking portal. Alright. <laughs> okay. Uh, how do we get back through now? Oh yeah, you just walk through. Right, of course. Space. The final frontier. Alright, so... 
Let me take a picture of that, too. Actually, there's two, maybe one of these. Well, it's got my markers in the background, but it's okay. Uh, we could use some storage that can be put outside. Um, I'm assuming that new tier 2 storage can't be, but I don't know. Uh, drop all this crap. Actually, just do that. Any of that crap I want to keep? Maybe the food? No, it's fine. Because we can come back and forth through the portal, so I didn't even need to bring food. It's fine. Let's fly through. Can I, like, go fast through this? Doesn't seem to make a difference. It seems like it's a time thing. Oh, I just went through and then came back out. Or okay, went back in. Oopsie. Okay. So don't do that. Just stand here because it's going to drop you out. And if you're flying, you may... Or if you're moving, you may get... Uh, gummed up there. Okay, so I think we were over this way. Uh-huh. Maybe. I think. Brain. Did my brain work? Somewhere over here. Somewhere over the rainbow. Maybe. That one? That one's the one. Yep, because it had a, a, a pulsar and a quasar in here. More and more reason to deconstruct the chests here because uh, then you know you've cleared that one so you don't have to go back and touch it. But it's unfortunate in a way that you can't, you know, get a map of this area. Um, because that would be a really useful thing to have. Yep. Um, as you're kind of exploring around here or something of the, the procedural area. Although it is a procedural wreck, yet I don't find a wreck here. Uh, did I miss the wreck? I can't. I can't have missed the wreck. Maybe it's just that some of them aren't actual wrecks. Uh, there's another chest. So yeah, we definitely need to climb those areas. Another purple. Delicious. Purple. Nutritious. Uh, definitely got to climb these these waterfalls then as you're doing these things. That's um, good to know. The shorter waterfalls, of course. Okay. And... I think we might have already gone over here, but... I don't know. <laughs> it's gonna be, uh... It's gonna be tough to tell without having any sort of, uh... Way to track it visually. I mean, I guess you could use, if you were smarter than me, you could use your coordinate system down there in the uh, bottom right with the location ID, the coordinate system, and um, your compass and determine if you've been everywhere that's on the map. But uh, I don't have that kind of memory capacity, so I don't see myself doing that. Um. Being able to do that, I mean. So, there is that. Uh, oh, there's one over there. Stuff. So, uh, eat one of these. Thousand. Okay. That production thing, I must have requested that before I ended the last, uh, the last session. And it just hadn't arrived yet, because that made three, which might have been the, the way that I intended it. Uh, so we kind of went up that way around. Maybe let's go this way around just to see. Oh, there's a wreck over there. Okay, so I've only done half of this place so far. That would be that would be why I didn't find the wreck. Uh-huh. Alright, it's wrecked. That's, that's a true statement. Uh-huh. Ooh. It's definitely a wreck. Oh, here's where we could use these flares. Light that area up like that. Uh, click to change the color. Oh, nice. Let's go with white. Maybe it's brighter. Maybe not. But we could also use our flashlight, of course. The wrecks are a little bit easier to procedurally um, navigate because you can always just say, hey, stay right kind of thing. You know, navigate right, which is what I usually do. And then you hopefully won't get lost in them. I didn't bring water or uh, 
food, so we're going to have to leave eventually here to go do that, but... Uh, ouch. Uh, nothing in here. How about you? Do you have anything? There we are. And you've got... Ooh, a yellow one, a solar quartz. Okay, so there's lots of different colors of these things. That's good. It's very good. Very, very good. Okay. And... Dead end there. I saw a deconstruction thing up ahead there. Oh, maybe we're gonna get... No, there's 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 different winding paths here. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Uh, there's a door here, and the food and hydration are both low. Oh, there's there's the vault. Can I make it back to the vault now? Oh boy. Uh, we could eat these. 100. A lot of 100s. That's fine. That's good, actually. Another energy multiplier fuse. All right. And then I'm um, gonna... Um, I'm gonna head back. We'll try to come back to the vault here, uh, to the big safe, to find our, our place where we need to start again. But uh, that could that could prove problematic. Um, and that's. I think that was the end. It could, be, it could prove problematic to find our way back in and out of this place. But uh, I'm gonna pause for a moment. I will try to find my way back out of here. And then, um, and then I will come back in, and we will uh, we will resume in just a little bit. So I will be right back. Oh, there's the flare. Good. And welcome back. I ate. I drank. I made it back here to the big safe without uh, without an excessive amount of strife. So we can continue this exploration now. Ooh, there's a. Sorry about that, I thought I muted, and then I didn't. Okay, I think I'm getting to my my talking limit for this episode, but I will try to continue to finish this wreck at least. See if there's anything back there. Some of this might be like circular loops, so we might be okay. Nothing this way. Sorry, I cannot hit that mute button fast enough sometimes. That way I know we went. But I think we're done or nearly done with this uh, wreck already. Kind of, once again, guiding myself right. Yep, we're back to the flare now. So I can deconstruct that flare. Get the bioplastic nugget and explosive powder back from it. And we can use it again to make another one, presumably. We can continue the outside exploration, though. we will find a tree seed somehow. I guess it'll be in a storage box. You could find a um, frog somehow. Ooh, that and this. More tokens. I 
Although the frogs might be in little the little frog ponds. I don't know. Here we are. Lots of mutagen, which I might have a different opinion on. Uh, if I were doing this earlier in the game, but I have a ridiculous amount of mutagen because I'm auto crafting it, so I don't know why I why the game thinks I need as much as I do. And that's again, like I said earlier in the game, before you have the auto crafters, if you can do all this stuff, then this looks like a thing we can get up here. Then maybe that makes a little more sense. Well, I'm not seeing anything up here. King of the world. Fall. Don't fall. Alright. Oh, I'm falling. Okay. Let's go over here. I don't know if I'm supposed to be up here or not. Some of those kind of unknowns with the game as to whether the clipping activity is intended or not. It obviously was in some of those earlier waterfalls because otherwise we wouldn't have been able to get up them. But in terms of these areas that I'm in now, who knows? Or I was in then, who knows? All right. Um, I was kind of looking here in the middle to see if there's anything else that I might have missed. Not really seeing anything. I don't know if the difficulty means, hey, there's stuff that's super hidden that you're going to have a hard time finding. Oh, there's something that I missed. Or what, what exactly that means. Alright, we're nearly full. Ooh, 5,000 in that one. Uh, let's see. Maybe. We may be done here. Or done enough here, at least. May have gotten the essential bits and things. Uh, we definitely found the big safe in the rack, which is, I'm assuming, the key component here. Um, but the problem is, is I don't remember exactly where I started, how I started, to know whether I have covered everything or not. And I don't want to waste time rehashing everything too much. So, unless I see something fairly quickly here, I'm going to consider that I've done it. And I think I have. So let's, um... Actually, let me do the map thing and do the closed portal thing. Oh, I lost all the items retrieved on the other side. Oh, well, that's a bummer. Well, I wish I'd have known that that was going to happen. I guess I should have saved first. What did I have in my inventory? I was full, wasn't I? Can I reestablish that portal? Nope. Well, uh, let that be a lesson to you. Do not close the portal when you're on the other side. That's a difficulty too with the three pulsar courses. So we should be able to afford that one pretty well. But we lost that whole third bag full of stuff. Uh, so keep that in mind. Don't do what Wally did. Um, so what I think I will do... Oops, don't do that. Don't Also, don't write Wally there. Uh, don't start writing Wally there. Uh, so I think what I will do is we'll make this a shorter episode because, again, of my uh, uh, cold and talking things. And I will see if we want to just do another Pulsar Quartz one, another pink one. Um, and maybe that, that level 2 one would be a good one to do. And then continue saving up the, the crystals for the later levels. Um, and then go from there. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, let me know if there's something that I'm missing as far as how, the, how any of this update works. And um, I'll be back again in the next episode with a little bit more exploration. Uh, I won't screw up the portal this time. What I should have done, of course, was save before I did the stupid. Um, but uh, I didn't. So unless there happens to be an autosave fairly...
fairly recent, um, then I'm kind of stuck either way. Uh, but it looks like there may have been a backup a minute ago. But I can test that out possibly and then see what see what that looks like. So I think what we'll do is we will leave this here. And in the next episode, we will see um, we will see what happened. Uh, if I can restore that backup and and get those items, then I will. Otherwise, we will start in the next portal or start by claiming the next portal. Thank you all for joining me, and I will see you all next time. Bye for now. <laughs>